Hey, this is Steve Peranto again. Another instructional video from my backyard in Hillsboro, Oregon during the pandemic, as you can tell. Um, this is a pet peeve of mine for quite a while, actually. And this feeds off the first video we did on the misconception of hit to your opponent's feet. A lot of times I'll go play rec play with people and they'll apologize when they hit a ball that was easy for the opponents to attack and they go, sorry, I hit it too high. And oftentimes I'll tell them, no, you didn't hit it too high, you hit it too far. And here's what I mean by that. I have a stick here with a ball on it that's net height. Now, this would be a great, great height to hit. You have to hit over the net. And if it landed in here, well, the ball that's going that high doesn't bounce very high. I can't attack that. The problem is when they hit a ball too far that high. It didn't go very high, but it went too far. Now I can attack this ball and the advantage now goes to me. So it's not that you hit the ball too high oftentimes, it's that you hit it too far. So I'm, I'm going to demonstrate this with uh, my buddy Spencer and I'm going to dink balls that go basically just a little over net height but they're short. Spencer can attack them so it winds up to be a dinking rally and then I'm going to make that dreaded mistake of dinking a ball too long and you'll notice what happens. I got attacked. That takes away my time to react, it takes my partner's time away and advantage goes to my partner when I hit a ball that's too far. So again everybody, it's not that you hit it too high oftentimes. Watch, I'm going to hit a dink that's going this high, but it's short and he won't be able to attack it. So those are rather high, but there's not a lot he can do. But watch what happens when I hit one too long. Bam, I get attacked. So I hope this video models to you, demonstrates to you, makes you understand why it's more important to hit the dink short. Might not be too high that is the setup shot, but you just hit it too long. So we've got to keep those dinks nice and short. With the tall, tall people that are entering this game of pickleball, they're going to have to be shorter and shorter.